What's up guys, Ben Pakulski for MI40 University here at the MI40 gym in Tampa. Um, another massive mistake people make that inhibits them from building the muscle they're looking to build is losing tension at the extremes of the range. So a lot of these may sound like they overlap, but pay attention to this one. It's actually really, really unique. Um, when you stand to the top of a squat, there's no more tension on your body because you, when your joints stack up, there's no more tension. The joint, the, the muscle and, and the load is being stacked through the joints. When you're doing a deadlift, as soon as you stand up to the top, there's no more tension on your, on your muscles. It's all going through your joints. So we want to maintain tension at the extremes of the range. And how do we do that? Sometimes it means not quite using what we would, what we refer to as a full range of motion, but it's a full range of motion under tension. So watch this. As I grab this bar, I'll turn to the side so you guys can see. If I'm standing here in a deadlift, there's no tension going through my muscles. I could stand here with a thousand pounds. As long as my grip can handle it, so can the rest of my body. But as soon as I do this, now my hips are behind my shoulders and the musculature of my lower back and glutes have to activate. So when I'm doing a deadlift, you see people do this, there's no more tension in your muscles. And when we're trying to build muscle, the goal is always maintain continuous tension. So when I do a deadlift, I stop right here. So I come to the bottom, whatever I can do in my active range, I come to the top and I stop where my hips are outside of my shoulders. So now what most people are gonna say is, well, Ben, that's not a full, that's not a full range of motion. That's a full range of motion for what that particular apparatus allows me. What you'll see us doing sometimes at the MI40 gym is implementing things like this, which are massive training tools. So what we would do in this case is we'd actually have, a, we'd actually have a, something behind us, or maybe we'd do it in a rack, where we'd strap it on our waist, and then now when we get to the top of the deadlift, we can actually push forward, and that band is gonna exert tension in that top part of the range. So if you wanna continue using that, um, or using that part of the range, or overload that part of the range that's really emphasizing glute contraction, you have to change the loading parameters a little bit. You have to change where it's loaded. So you see a lot of people, when they train, they tend to accelerate in the middle and then have to smash at the ends of the range or they don't go to the ends of the range. It's very, very important for optimal hypertrophy, for maximal hypertrophy, to train a muscle at all aspects of the strength curve, all aspects of the range. It's really important to get strong at the extremes. One of the biggest things we teach here at our muscle camps is how to get strong at the extremes of the range. What does that really mean? It means a fully lengthened, fully shortened aspect of the range, whether it be for pecs, or short pec, or biceps, whatever it happens to be, knowing anatomically what a fully lengthened muscle is and what a fully shortened muscle is, and spending some time there. So science now indicates that you can actually hypertrophy a muscle at different parts of the, of the range of its contractile ability. So you can hypertrophy a muscle at the, at the lengthened range, the mid-range, and the shortened range. So for maximal muscular development, you want to try to hypertrophy all aspects of that range. So knowing what that means is very important. So you see a lot of these muscle-bound bodybuilders who walk around, they walk like they're really, really tight. The reason is their body never goes to those extremes of the range. So when, you're, when it does go there, your brain senses instability, tightens up similar to what would happen on ice. If I walked on ice, the, the analogy the MAT specialists of the world use is, well, if you walk on ice, you tighten up. Why? My brain senses instability. Same thing with these big muscle-bound bodybuilders who walk around and look like they can't really move. They never train those extremes of the range. They never get outside of those, those mid parts of the range. So their body is really, really tight because their brain senses instability. So by training full lengths of the range, not only are you preventing injury, you're also maximizing your hypertrophy potential. So please, try some things. Try to spend some time in the extremes of the range. Uh, the term I use is squeeze it like it owes you money. Get there, own it. Don't just get there and then get out of there as quickly as possible. And it's important to realize when you go to those extremes of the range, is it bad to lock out? We get that question a lot. The answer is absolutely not, provided you're under control. Get there, slow down, and come back. Use the muscle that you're trying to work. If you're, back, if you're backing your Lamborghini into a parking spot for the first time, would you just slam it into reverse and then slam into forward and come out? You'd slow down and you'd accelerate uh, appropriately, right, under control. So there you have it. That's one of the biggest things holding you back from achieving the muscle, muscular development you're after is not spending time at the extremes, not getting strong at the extremes, and just not going there in general. So get there, spend some time there, and squeeze it like it owes you money. MI40 University out.